See, I'm just recording the session and I will share you the video recording for this session, guys. So, in the last class, we have created a test script where in which we have created a web driver test script which will be handling of a checkboxes, I guess. Yes, this is the one which we have created which is handling a checkbox. So, data script, see here if you clearly observe, uh, we discussed about what are all the various ways to handle a drop down. Okay, what are all the various ways to handle a drop down in RC? The first way is select a value from a drop down. Okay, the second option is get the selected value from the drop down. Get the selected value from the drop down. And the third option is print all the values and it's a count and the last one is save all the values to a file so these are all the concepts so these are all the various concepts which we need to cover in order to select the value from a drop down the corresponding command which we need to use is selenium dot select is a command which we are using in order to select a value from a drop down after selecting a value from a drop down, the other point what we need to do means that we need to get the value from the drop down which we are getting with the help of a get selected label. Get selected label is a command which we are using in a web driver to get the selected value from the drop down. Whatever the value is selected from the drop down, in order to get the selected value from the drop down, we are using this get selected label command. Get selected label is a command which we are using in order to get the selected value from the drop down. So I was just printing that before executing the script. Let me start my Selenium server. So Java space hyphen jar space Selenium server. I just started my Selenium server. As I started my Selenium server right now I can run my test script as well. So let's uh, go back to the uh, Eclipse editor and try to run these uh, scripts. Right click run as a Java application. It's been executing the scripts and after the script execution it was supposed to print a value to the console. After the script execution it was supposed to print a value to the console and it returned as a DANSK. So it means Whatever the value it got selected in a drop down, this particular command is getting that particular value. Okay, this particular command is getting that particular value. That's fine. The next scenario which I would like to implement over here is how can we get all the values present in a drop down? What are all the values are there in a drop down? How can I get all those values? selenium dot again we are using a get command where in which I am using get select options okay what are all the values are there in that particular drop down location get all those values and I am trying to store it in dd values is equal to I am just storing it in a string variable it is returning an error message stating that Okay, it is returning an error message stating that all these values as it is getting a multiple values we need to store it in a return type of an array. So array is a data type available uh, in Java which is used to store multiple values of a similar data type. So here we are storing all the values which is of a string data type. All the values are here are of a string data type itself. Okay. All the values are of a string data type itself. Okay. That's fine. So as of now it is storing it in an array. Generally whenever the information is storing in an array it will start with 0th index. It will start with 0th index. In an array it will start with the 0th index. 
okay that's fine so it means uh, as we are storing for suppose a is an array a of 0 contains the first value in a drop down a of 1 contains the second value in a drop down a of 2 contains the third value in a drop down a of 3 contains the fourth value in a drop down like that a of n minus 1 contains last value in the drop down last value in a drop down that's fine guys so this is the stuff this is the way how can we handle that in order to know the total number of values in a drop down in order to know the total values in a drop down we are going for dot length method dot length is a method which we are using in order to get the total number of values are present over there in order to get the total number of values present over there, we are going for dot length method. Okay, that's fine, guys. Done up to here. So here dot length is a method which we are using to get the total number of values present in an array. So here system dot out dot println total values in drop down are plus dd values dot length method. Dot length is a method which we are using in order to uh, get the total number of values present in a drop down guys. So let me run my scripts, run as a Java application, this time it will return all the values. And guys, if you clearly observe, all the values are stored in a DD values array type. So earlier we have written that DD value of 0 contains the first value in a drop down, second value, third value. If I would like to print all the values means I need to give system dot out dot print ln a of 0 system dot out dot print ln a of 1 so on up to a of 100 if there are 100 values are there I would like to print in such a way right now it is displaying as there are 50 values are there in a drop down in order to print all those values we need to use a for loop to print all those values to print all those values we need to use a for loop okay that's fine so how can I print all these values means for int i is equal to 0 i less than dd values dot length i plus plus okay so that's fine I just uh, created a for loop where in which system not out dot print ln dd values of i okay that's fine so i just uh, added a command and when i run this command it will print all the values just check out the output guys it's been executing
values and uh, when I run this particular test script all the drop down values are got returned to the console okay all the drop down values are got returned to the console all the drop down values are got returned to the console that's fine so this is the way how many values are there all the values are got returned to the console and if you clearly observe guys a few values it returned as a question mark the reason why it returned as a question mark for the few values means there are some kind of a special characters of which was not recognized by my web driver see here there are certain special characters which are in you know, chinese and a few more languages are there that's the reason our web driver of selenium was unable to read those characters so he just returned them as a question mark okay what are all the variables our selenium was unable to read then it read it returned as a question mark that's what the point that's fine guys we have a seen how to print all those values as well the last scenario left over here is how can we save all the values to a file the simple point in order to save all these values to a file means so first of all we need to create a file we need to open the file we need to write the information save the information too we need to write it and we need to save that information too okay that's fine we need to write the information and as well as we need to save that particular information too that's fine done up to here once we are done up to here so let's see how we are going to do that all these steps we need to perform with the help of a java program itself okay we need to do all these things with the help of a java program itself so in order to do that first of all i am creating a file so this is a command of which we are using in order to create a file so below command will create a file file f is equal to new file of in a d drive create a file with a name as a sushma.txt i just created a file with a name as a sushma.txt and i'm storing the file instance in a f the second statement what we need to do we need to open that particular file so in order to open that particular file i am creating an instance to my buffer writer br where in which a buffer writer br is equal to new file writer of that particular file so whatever the operations of we are performing with the br all these operations are going to store in a f f contains internally sushma.txt now here i am using br dot it contains a too many methods where in which i am giving a right surendra okay surendra again br dot right i am giving it as ramya br dot right kavya i just specified all these things and now let me run this script a small point over here guys you see right now i have a written some information in this file if i would like to use this information for my future references means one point we need to do means we need to save the file right so we need to save the file and even if you observe in the program i haven't given any commands which will save the info so let's go to our d drive once so specifically in a d drive sushma.txt file got created but it doesn't contains any information the reason is we haven't asked it to save that information so here i am giving br dot flush i am using a flush method to save this information run this script again i am just executing this script once after the script got executed successfully have a look into this file it needs to contain the information see surendra ramya kavya but all the information got appended one after another but i don't want to append this information one after another after entering a one information i would like to split it in a new line hence i am using a br dot new line method let's rerun this script again when this script got executed successfully this time it will update the content present in that file see if you check out now all the information got returned in a new lines that's fine 
but guys if you observe this is the logic where in which we are entering a dynamic values but my intention is i need to enter the values of present in that array copy the above for loop whatever we have created and the paste it and now instead of printing that br dot write just add that br dot new line br dot flush writing the information entering in a new line and saving that particular file run the script now and observe the information once the script got executed all the information will be updated in this particular star see all the drop down information got updated in this file whatever the info it is returning to the console the same information it's been printing to that particular file too this is the way how can we print how can we save that information to a particular file am i clear for everybody or do you people have any questions for me guys is this point clear for everybody cool gayatri sushma vidya vidya and jyoti cool done guys done up to here once we are done up to here so this is the drop down related scenarios whatever we have created and it's been executing those scenarios and once all the drop down related scenarios are executed the other point what exactly we need to do is okay i just created all the drop down related scenarios this is the stuff and in selenium rc we do have a few more scenarios among which i would like to explain about a small scenario which is capturing of a screenshot see here rc5 where in which i would like to capture a screenshot so here also i am creating an object to my web driver default selenium space selenium is equal to new default selenium of local host 4444 port okay 4444 port see i am just giving some a junk name over here i am not specifying the browser name i am just giving a junk name www.bing.com only i am just giving a bing.com for my simplicity and later selenium dot start selenium dot open and later selenium dot capture entire page screenshot okay for which the first parameter we need to specify where i would like to save this screenshot in my d drive i would like to save this screenshot with a name as a gayatri.png in my d drive i would like to store this screenshot with a name as a gayatri.png in my d drive i am just saving this screenshot with a name as a gayatri.png okay so after capturing the screenshot just close the browser to selenium. stop as well that's when i just close this screenshot run this script as a java application so it's been throwing an error message the reason is could not start the session failed to start on a new browser the browser whatever you have specified is a invalid if you would like to run your test script in selenium rc you need to specify any one of these browsers if you would like to run your test script in rc you would like to run uh, specify any one of these browsers so that's the reason i am specifying it as a firefox okay or else i am specifying it as a chrome browser okay run this script once i'm just asking it to run my test script on a chrome browser it's been executing the script on a chrome browser my script is getting executed on a chrome browser and usually it will fail the reason why it will fail means capture entire page screenshot is a command which we are using in order to capture the screenshot specifically for firefox browser alone 
capture entire page the screenshot is a command which we are using in order to capture the screenshots specifically on a firefox browser it's not a possible for us to capture the screenshots on any other browser okay so here the chrome means star chrome it will launch a firefox browser only in order to launch a google chrome browser here i need to specify google chrome before that just check out in your d drive guy 3.png got a captured and if i open that whatever the firefox or browser instance is there it captured that when i rerun my program with a firefox or browser and it's been executing that if you observe here it will fail the reason is capture entire page a screenshot a specifically will work on a firefox browser that's what the error message if I would like to capture the screenshots on any other browser means then we need to go for capture screenshot command for this a capture screenshot d drive jyoti dot jpeg i just specified a jpeg extension when i run my test script there is a chrome browser instance it's been executing it's been launching the browser and closing the browser if you have a look into your d drive jyoti.jpg captured the file for uh, the chrome browser instance okay first suppose run the scripts while running the script i just uh, minimized my browser instances i just uh, minimized everything okay and once the script got executed if you go to your d drive and if you observe jyoti file whatever the instance of we opened it particular it captured that particular instance itself the major difference between a entire page a screenshot and a capture screenshot is specifically this entire page a screenshot command capture entire page a screenshot will capture the firefox browser instance even though it is in a maximized mode or else in a minimized mode whereas if you go for a capture screenshot command it will capture the screenshot whenever it is in a minimized or else whenever it is in a maximized mode itself whenever that particular screenshot or else whenever that particular browser instance is in a maximized mode then only it will capture the screenshots okay that's fine is this concept clear for you guys how we need to capture the screenshots in uh, selenium rc or do you people have any questions over here and screenshot capturing we don't have a much more scenarios after this getting of attributes we don't have a much more scenarios fine so jyoti guy 3 vidya am i clear for you 3 fine guys so once we are done up to here the another scenario which i would like to create over here is about rc6 where in which we are creating a new script where in which i would like to explain about getting of an attributes concept what is the meaning of a getting of an attributes i can get some kind of an information present in my browser whatever the information is there in a browser for an object assume that see here this is a particular object select a field to this object it is having an id style and a name property right by using a selenium rc program i can get the name property for this object i can get an id property for this object okay that's fine we can get a specific property for a specific object so for which again i am creating an object to my default selenium class Default Selenium space Selenium space of local host double four double four star Firefox HTTP www dot bing dot com. I just to specify the whole information here. Okay, star Firefox and a bing dot com HTTP. The protocol need to be specified. HTTP. I need to specify that. Okay, I just specify the whole information. Okay, after specifying the whole information, the next step. What exactly I? 
The next step, what exactly I need to do? Oh, need to do this. Hello, hi everyone, can you all hear me guys? Can you all hear me guys? Not coming, okay fine. So here, I have a created an object to my default Selenium class. And once after I have a created an object to my default Selenium class, again open the Bing.com itself, selenium.start selenium.open I just opened that app and after opening that selenium dot I would like to navigate to a bing.com page itself okay directly a bing.com application itself I would like to navigate so right click inspect element with a firebug it is having an ID property go back selenium dot get attribute is a command for which ID is equal to for which object I would like to get the property at the rate class so it means to the get attribute command we will specify the object information and at the rate desired property whatever the property you would like to get specify that as it is getting the information we can store it in a string and the system not out dot a string as a value. Okay. Now run these strings. Okay. Right click run as a Java application. Okay. It's throwing an error message. Local host. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Thanks. So here local host is spelling is wrong and even in the error message also it's displaying the same, right? So let's run the script again. It's been executing the script now. It's been executing the script now and see here it was supposed to get the information, the class name and return the class name guys. Okay, and it returned the class name. returning as a class name that's fine guys done up to here so it returned the class name okay so this is the way how can we specify this particular stuff whatever the property might be we can get that particular information using this particular stuff this is the way how can we get that particular information this is the way how can we get that particular information okay fine guys Done up to here. So this is the stuff. Okay. So these are all the various kinds of scenarios which we have in Selenium RC, guys. Okay. These are all the various kinds of scenarios which we have in Selenium RC. That's fine. Am I clear for everybody, or do you people have any specific questions for me? Okay, that's fine, guys. So